Hello, Gemini. So, I'm Priestess May from PriestessMay.com if you haven't seen me before. And you might have noticed if you have joined me before that I'm not in my usual setup. And like I explained in the Sagittarius video, I'm actually visiting family out of state. So, I'm in my little sister's room. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure that you had your June messages. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. So, Gemini. Hmm. Before we did your before I did your reading, I did meditate on it a little bit. And I found that you kind of were like over it. You really didn't really care about much this month. You're like, whatever. <laughs> um, and going into now, not all Geminis, but the the community that I connected to um, psychically. So let's go ahead. What I want to know, Gemini, is what is the message from your guides to you for the for June 2019? What are they suggesting that you do um, to achieve your goals, or what is there? To, what is there to come? What can you expect? What can you expect, really? June 2019 is what I'm going for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick three cards for you, possibly four, from the after tarot. And then I'm going to pick one card from this beautiful deck of oracle cards as a bonus from the Spirit Animal Oracle. Now, keep in mind, you might come across this message later on and find that it applies to you. And that's okay. Sometimes things need to unfold further before you see what um, you can expect for a particular month unfold. So you might not see something unfold until the end of June, but this is the beginning of June and when we're getting the message. So let's go ahead and take a moment just to connect again with the collective of Geminis, with the guardian angels of Gemini. What can Gemini expect for June 2019? What does June 2019 have to bring for us this for Geminis this month? All right, Gemini. I am getting the Four of Swords, the Magician, and the high priestess so the four of swords came up res reverse now usually when the four of swords is the right side up it's telling me that it's time to take a rest okay however the four of swords here is telling me the opposite it's actually telling me now is not the time to rest now is not the time to give up now is not the time to to put down your sword now is the time to actually um speak your truth swords for me are words and thoughts and sometimes a lot of us are are just speaking, 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 feeling like we're speaking to a wall and not really getting through. And then we decide, you know what, I'm just going to back up and I'm going to stop speaking. This Four of Swords reverse for me tells me now is not the time to stop speaking. Now is not the time to be speechless and to be not represented, Okay. The magician is coming up here next. So what does that tell me? That tells me that your guardian angels are saying now is the time to act. Now, if you want what you want in life is possible for you if you take action. These things aren't just going to happen if you're not taking any action. This action could be spiritual or it could be physical action like you looking for a new job or deciding that you're going to leave that relationship that you don't feel happy in and go into a relationship where you actually feel fulfilled this is also making me feel like it's time to expand your horizons expand your thinking expand the way that you live your life okay the magician here is telling me that everything is possible if you use your tools. There are so many tools that we have at our disposal. We have we have technology, okay? We have um we have you do have financial tools. You do you are abundant. You have to realize that abundance isn't just money. It is also the skills that you possess, okay? So the amount of skills that you possess and the amount of blessings that you are receiving those things can amount to getting a better relationship and getting a better financial financial situation. Now, this is also telling me a lot of you Geminis are awakening this month. I feel that in June 2019, there's going to be a mass awakening specifically of air signs. For some reason, I've been getting that download a lot from my spirit guides. 
there's going to be a mass awakening for many people but primarily air signs because you air signs are so logical you're you have to be you have to see to believe um for the most part and i feel that it's pop it's it's finally happening for you two major arcana cards here which tells me that you this is something that is that is inevitable it's something that you can't stop from happening it's something that is going to happen no matter what you needing to take action is something that you need to do no matter what it is that you need to do it has to be done in order for you to move forward after this month the main advice here is the high priestess now the high priestess for me is one of two things i feel like the high priestess is all is finding something out that you didn't know that was hidden from you but it also is about trusting your intuition you've already been told what the secret is by your spirit guides but you refuse to look at the truth of who this person is you refuse to look at the truth of the fact that this job is not for you anymore or that this person is not looking out for your best interests um it's you're also missing the point that life is about balance between light and darkness and that you need to stop beating yourself up over your shadows and do some shadow healing do some shadow work so this is what the high priestess is telling me here um it's about that balance yes so find that balance in yourself you're not going to find it in anyone else but yourself so now is the time to trust that and to trust that with i feel very strongly here that your major breakthrough is going to come with cancer um the time of cancer coming in okay gemini i know we're in your sign but i feel like your big breakthrough is gonna come around right as your sign turns into cancer so pay attention to the people to the to the red flags pay attention to the good flags too because this is also telling me that you're missing out on some really good people because you are living based on the fears of the past so pay attention to that the bottom of the deck i'm getting the inheritance card again i'm think i'm feeling a big awakening for gemini's and other other um air signs i feel that now this card for me is all about inheritance it's all about generational um generational healing it's all about receiving spiritual generational gifts yes so it's all about delivering that tradition in a better way okay so maybe um there was some generational pain in the past now it's time to pass on some traditions but not pass on that pain so you you need to right now you really 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 need to work on healing any of those generational curses those generational habits that pass on from one generation to another just poisoning it and allow yourself to build something that you can pass from generation to generation i feel like all a lot of you as well gemini's have been thinking about opening your own businesses or investing in something that's going to allow you to leave something for your children and now is the time to really focus on that all right let's go ahead and take a look and see what your spirit animal is for this month that could help you in attaining your goals gemini 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 for the collective of Gemini. Now, keep in mind, like I said before, it may not apply to all of you, but those of you whom this message applies to. Now, if it, if you come across, across this message later on, it might still apply for you. So, Gemini, you got the Nightingale spirit, which is all about realizing that there's love all around you so there it is that is about the generational healing i feel that a lot of gemini's are going through generational healing issues that need to be addressed and realize that there is love and maybe someone that didn't know how to show you love really does love you but they just never knew how to show love and thinking maybe this person was never taught how to show love and that's why they don't show me love and then in turn, I don't show others love. Many blessings, Gemini. Mwah.